is uh, Mr. Yates going over our math notes for lesson 1.3, modeling fractions and decimals. So let's go ahead and start. I want to go ahead and JCP, do you have a question before I get started really quick? Because I want to be sure. And somebody has got their microphone still on, so make sure you turn that microphone off. Aubrey, what's your question? Um, I can't really hear you. Okay, Aubrey, I'm not exactly sure on this time. Raj, make sure you mute your camera for me, please. Thank you. Um, Aubrey, we're going to go ahead, and um, I'm not exactly sure what's going on. I'm talking pretty loud. Miss, um, I think most everybody else can hear me. It may be a connection issue. I am recording this meeting, Aubrey, so that if you're not able to hear me all the way and you're confused about something, I will be posting it later on so you can see it or hear it. We're going to start our notes right now, boys and girls. Let's go and open up our composition book. Today our lesson is going to be 1.3, so we're going to be starting right after 1.2. At this point, I have a new page, so I'm going to do what I did yesterday, which is I'm going to fold my page in half, the new page, hot dog style. And that'll give me a side for some of my words and the other side for examples. So what I'd like to do right here is go ahead and start by writing our corner right here, the number of our lesson. The number of our lesson here is 1.3. On the top part, right across here, we're going to be writing our title. I don't want you to go below the big space to write this unless you need to go across and make another line. That way you have plenty of room for your notes. We're going to write our title. Today we're going to model fractions and decimals. And again, this is probably something you did in fourth grade. Um, at the beginning of the year, we do a lot of review with place value just to make sure, especially this year, that we didn't forget anything. So we want to make sure that we're still on point with what we've learned previously and to know that it's going to be used for the future in fifth grade math and beyond. So today what we're going to do is we're going to model fractions and decimals. OK, Jason, what's your question? I can't see you or the I paper. Sure, why you got on there, Mr. Chair? Yeah. It's Miss Church is telling me we're getting a little bit of lag. Um, if you're not able to tr see me, try leaving the meeting and then I'll admit you again. And that may help with some of the lag and I'm recording it. See it, so if you miss anything, you might be able to see. It. Okay. All right. We're move All right. So let's go ahead and um, let's get you back in. If you get bumped out, I know there's some. Sometimes the laggy issue will cause people to get bumped out. So let's move on with the lesson. Um, first of all, we're going to draw a line down the middle here, just to separate our words that we're doing from examples. Now, the words you're going to use here are um, going to be different ways that you're going to be asked today in your assignment about how to represent a fraction and a decimal in a model. So, Jason, I'm going to go ahead and just let you back in, and hopefully that'll get you back in. OK, and we'll try that. If you're still stuck and not able to see me, once you're able to get in, we'll go ahead and um, Derek, I'm going to ask you to just go ahead. If you have a question, do um, you have a question? Uh, yeah, I can't see the paper. All I see is you. OK, it is is screen sharing right now, so I'm not exactly sure why it's not actually showing the paper on here. Um, but we will look into that to see. There might be a setting on your end with Teams that is not allowing you to see that part of it. I'm not 100% sure why it's not doing that, because it actually should be screen shared with me just as a little uh, square down in the bottom, because that's what we normally should be seeing there. I'm going to record this meeting, so if you do get stuck on something and you're still not able to see, again, what I want you to try is just leaving the meeting and then maybe trying to get back in. That may help to see if that help. That might help. It's so laggy. Okay. He's I'm supposed really to be laggy today, guys. Can't see him. Okay, guys, here. guys, mute your projector or mute your microphone. I know we got some laggy issues here, but um, we're going to have to try to work through that. Well, again, I'm going to record this, so if you do get lots of lags, just watch the recording at the end of the day, and we'll start. Hey, Harrison. 
All right, let's go ahead and get ourselves starting with our lesson. I want to make sure that we have our. Um, everybody, there we go. And we'll put that in here. And we'll get started again here. I want to make sure. I have, all right. All right, so take a look at here. If you can see this, boys and girls, on this side, what I want you to do is I want you to put here, we're going to use a model. And on this side, the first thing I want you to do is I want you to write these words. We're going to use a model. Make sure that you mute your microphone, boys and girls. Um, we're just going to go through this right now, and I see if your hands raised, but when you come on, make sure you're muting your microphone because when the noise comes on, there you go, good job. Use a model to show three tenths. So that's what I want you to do first. I want you to use a model to show three tenths. I'm going to do this right over here. Boys and girls, if you're still having problems seeing me right now, just go ahead and uh, know that I'm recording the meeting. We're not exactly sure why that issue is going on. Uh, you can leave the meeting and then just go ahead and watch the recording at the end of the day uh, if you want to. But um, for this point right now, uh, there's not much we can do except for going in and out. And that seems to be the only issue we're having right now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move on. I do want to show this model. And then I'll go ahead and answer questions you have once I show this model right here on the left side. So go to your microphone. Go ahead and do that right now. All right, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to be drawing a model right here to show three tenths. This model is going to be a rectangle. And when you're asked to show a model, I want you to show using, um, well, most of these are going to be rectangles. Um, I always like to think of those pieces of toast that we're cutting up. Um, in this rectangle, I want you to go ahead and uh, we're going to divide it into the denominator, which is the denominator is 10. So we're going to divide this piece into 10 pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and put a halfway mark here. And then one, two, three, four. So I have one, two, three, four, five spaces. One, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four, five spaces. And then carefully draw a line down so you have nice straight lines. I like to use another pencil. We have rulers. Let's go do that. Draw this down to make a nice model of your fraction. Make sure you're muting, boys and girls, because we do hear a lot of um, sound. I want to make sure that's not on the recording as well, too. So a little bit of a reverb in there. So make sure you're, you're muting. Take your time and make it as neat as you can. And I'm going to count to make sure I've got 10 pieces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right, I've got 10 pieces. Abby, what's your question? I drew a line through the middle, and then I did lines going up and down. So then I had five on the top and five on the bottom. So you, you kind of went this way, huh? Um, no. OK, but you made it look like my model then? Well, it still has 10 parts. That's fine, me. Oh, that's fine, Abby. So as long as it's got the 10 parts in there. Now, I want you to just highlight the model this way. Maisie, what's your question? I don't have a question. I forgot to put down my hand. Thank you, Maisie. All right, so on my model, I'm just going to make sure that I put here 10 out of 10, or 10, that. Let me erase that little part right there. This model shows one whole. It's one whole piece of toast, as I like to think of it. Or 10 out of 10. The whole thing is 10 out of 10. The part that I'm going to highlight, though, is only three tenths of that. So what I will do with my with my um, model is just do this. I'll go ahead right here, and since my number is three in the numerator, I'm going to go ahead right over here and highlight by shading it in three tenths. And let's go ahead and do that right now to show our model is three tenths. You can use whatever color you have and whatever kind of marker you have as long as it doesn't bleed through. You can use a pencil. Color pencil is really ideal. Highlighter is good. Okay, it doesn't usually. So let's go ahead and highlight three spaces right here to show that that's your model. All 
Um, I had a problem last year. I called it a highlighter crazy. Sometimes we would uh, start going and going and getting coloring, and the next thing you know, I've got four tenths, five tenths. So I want to really be careful. I count out one, two, three here to make sure I don't have it all highlighted in the correct area. Once you've got it highlighted, I want you to label this part down here with a little bracket, three tenths. And again, check to make sure your microphone is muted, boys and girls, because when I hear like someone going through a snack bag or something, I can hear it. So I just want to make sure that those uh, noises are muted so they don't show up on a recording as well, too. Um, so you've got your three tenths right there at the bottom, boys and girls. Now I'm going to show you a couple more examples of how you're going to be asked in today's assignment to show a fraction or a decimal. So I want to show you the next part. I'm going to take three tenths and we are now going to draw a line underneath that three tenths here. I'm going to draw a line straight across here to show you the next example. In our next example, I want you to write and I want you to use these words right here. Write three tenths in word form. And once you read it out loud like that, word form is pretty easy to do. Over here, I'll take the three and recreate my fraction again that I just made. I'll take my three tenths and I'm going to write it right here. And I want you to look at that numerator of three. I'm just going to write the word three right next to it. So that's three. The denominator in my fraction, that's tenths. And I really said it exaggerated. I went tenths. And the reason I want to exaggerate the end of that is because I want to make sure that you know that this is not the tens place, but the tenths place. So make sure that you have written it tenths. Once you've written that as tenths right there, you now know what the word form is. You just combine these together. So I'm going to write here word form equals, and I'll read it together, three tenths. So I just write it down here. The word form is three tenths. I'm going to make a line now for my next section. We've shown the fraction as a model, as a shaded model. We've shown the fraction in word form. The next step is to write three tenths as a decimal. So I'm going to write here, write three tenths as a decimal. On the left side here, I'm going to be showing you how to write three tenths as a decimal. Since we have it in word form here as three tenths, you kind of have a good idea of how we're going to write it as a decimal. But I want to remind you why we're writing three tenths as a decimal this way. I'm going to rewrite three tenths in my example area. I'm going to look at the bottom, this place value, this denominator, we read it as tenths. That means, and I kind of exaggerate that again, tenths, because I want you to make sure you have that THS at the end. It's not tens place, it's the tenths place. The tenths place is much smaller than the tens place. Now up here we have the number three. We're going to put that three into the tenths place in our decimal, and I want to show you how we do that. We're going to write a decimal as this way. 
So I'm going to write decimal equals. We're going to get ourselves ready to write the decimal that we're going to show three tenths. Here's how we do that. Because we don't have a whole number, we're going to write a zero first. That zero means that we don't have actually one whole at all. We only have three tenths. We're going to put a zero, and then we're going to put a decimal right next to it. It's very important that you have a zero before the decimal, because if we don't, it gets a little confusing about whether you're writing the number three or you're writing three tenths. The next digit or the next place value after the decimal point is tenths. So I'm going to highlight here that this is the tenths place. And since my fraction is in the tenths, I know I'm going to put my three into the tenths place. And that's how we write three tenths as a decimal. Yes, Gabby. And every time that I do decimals, I have to remind myself that it's the tenths or the hundredths because I put it when it was something like three tenths before I put a zero before and my teacher goes, that's not whatever that is in the hundredths place. And we're going to do all and, and that that's a really common thing. It's it's very easy to confuse this tenths place and not know what place value that is. So that's why I'm just going to go over one more example to show you the difference between when we show something in tenths place versus something that's in hundredths place. So kind of a nice uh, way to start the next example, Gabby. Thanks. Let me show you some more another example. For the next example, we're not going to make a um, model. You can draw this model on your own in the homework when you get to it. But I want you right now to practice doing the mo doing a decimal and a fraction or decimal and word form. So let me show you what I mean. We're going to turn our page now. On the back page here, since this is still 1.3, we're going to write up at the top here 1.3. We have our fold, so I'm going to draw a line down the middle. So we have our words and our examples. Riley, what's your question? Um, I also have room on the front page. Can I use the front page still? Totally fine. Um, if we have some more room, Mr. Yates is kind of a big writer, so if you end up having a big piece of paper or a bigger piece of paper and you have more room, that's fine. I'm just going to go to the back because I don't want to squish on mine. Okay. okay. Yes. Um, Maisie? I have the same question. Yeah, just, yeah, just go ahead if you have more room. The big thing you don't want to do is end up squishing, so make sure that you don't squish. But if you can go on the back, that's fine. Abby, before I go on to the next part, you want to have a question? Can you sing that one song that you sang yesterday again? Oh, I'm going to say that for the decimals later on when we compare decimals because it's so beautiful, so, so precious. I don't want to just share it all the time. Does that make sense, Abby? We'll wait till we get to comparing decimals and then I'll be singing it again. Aiden, you have a question? Yeah, are we ever going to um, get to adding fractions and um, add um, and um, adding uneven fractions? Yes, we are, my friend. This is we're just at the very beginning of the school year, but that's going to be later on in our curriculum and we're going to be doing a lot of those. So, OK. Let's go ahead and finish this up right now so I can get you guys some time to start on your assignment. So let me go ahead and on the example side right here, or on the word side, I want you to write these words. I want you to write underneath, it's not the title because we're still showing desks, we're still doing the same topic. We're going to write a new fraction this time. I want you to write 34 over 100. You can do it either way with a slash and make it 100 like that, or you can do it straight up on top either way. I want you to write 34 over 100 in word form. So we're going to write 34 over 100 in word form. Okay. 
Let me put a period at the end. And then we're going to do is we are going to write that fraction over here on the left side. I'm going to write 34 and I'm going to write it as 34 over 100. I want to explain to you how I'm going to write that in word form. All I really have to do is look label the numerator and denominator so I can tell. I know that this hundred means that it's hundredths. So I'm going to write here, since it's hundred, it's hundredths. Then you write the word hundred, and then THS. I want to do a little bit of just super crazy drawing right here to emphasize that THS at the end right there, boys and girls, because that is not a hundred, it's hundredths place. So I kind of exaggerate that to remind you. Yes, Carter. Um, aren't we like off schedule for our daily dictation because it's supposed to be in five minutes? Yeah, we are a little bit off schedule today, so we're just going to push that over till after lunch. OK, um, yeah, this happens sometimes in, in the classroom, too. We'll get a little bit behind, but um, we'll get everything going through today. So thanks for asking. We'll go ahead and move on with our question or section here. Um, we have our hundredths. So we're over the top here, we're going to put 30. And we're going to put a hyphen because it's under 100. 34. And now we've got our word form. Right here, word. Form. Equals. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put here. 30. With a hyphen. Four hundredths, and I just always emphasize the hundredths right there. Jackson, are we doing the daily dictation um, on Teams or off? We're going to do it on Teams meeting. We're going to. We have a meeting scheduled for after lunch at twelve o'clock. And we're going to be using that time for our team's meeting for the dictation. What I want to do right now is give you time to work on this assignment after our math assignment after we're done with our notes. Okay. Kind of schedule off today a little bit, but uh, we're trying to get back on, but we'll get it all done. All right, here we go. Last part before I give you some time to work on your assignment today. The next thing I want you to do. And Gabby, this may be what you're talking about where sometimes we get a little. This should help you to make sure you write these as in the correct way. Our next part here is we want to write 34 over 100 as a decimal. Carter, do you still have your hand up for a question? All right, I'm going to go ahead and we'll move on here. Um, this is where it kind of gets a little tricky with showing it as a decimal, so I want to show you how we do this correctly. Um, we're going to write 34 over 100 right here in the example section. And I want you to notice the bottom. Again, in word form, we already said it, it said it's 34 hundredths. So that bottom hundred is hundredths. In order to show this decimal correctly, we're going to be and um, we're going to put a zero. Let me just write here decimal. Equals we're going to start with a zero because we don't have a whole number. We're going to be putting a decimal dot to show that we're now getting into a decimal territory. We're now getting smaller than one whole. Now, here's how we put 3400 in here correctly in the decimal. First, I want to write. I want to look at that four. That four is our last digit. That last digit's going to go in the hundredths place. So I'm going to show you that the first digit after the tenths place, or the after the decimal, is the tenths place. The next digit after the tenths place is even smaller. That's the hundredths place. And it kind of squished on that down here, so I'm going to zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. 
So we have tenths and hundredths. We're going to take the four, which is the last digit in 34, and we are going to put that four into the hundredths place. We're going to take the three and place it now into the tenths place. So now our decimal is 34 hundredths, and we always read the last place value to show that. So it's 34 hundredths as a decimal. That should give you everything you need to know about modeling fractions and decimals and word form to get you started on today's assignment. That's lesson 1.3 homework. I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording of this one just to save some space.